Um, I have the job to ask questions about two things, uh, two topics that my mother told me to never bring up to strangers, religion and politics. <laughs> Initially I started covering uh, religion and perhaps you know, you've seen those stories over the years. They, it really was my way of not having to do the murder or fire of the day. You know? I was so happy to have uh, something more interesting and thought-provoking to cover, but I kind of glommed on to that religious. And it's really been an interesting involvement from the sort of the Catholic beat to political beat. I mean, I think there's a lot of similarities. I mean, there's controversies and, you know, the pecking order of who you talk to and all of that. Uh, two years ago when Senator Obama said I'm going to go, we found out he was going to go to Iowa, we said we have to go, we have to go, it's going to be great, you know, it's his first trip to Iowa. And so we did, and boy, you know, that was the time when you could say to him, hey, Senator Obama, come here, come here, you know, would you come, come talk to us for a second? He'd be like, sure, I'll be right there. <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore. It's been, it's been tricky, you know, for us to accept that uh, he doesn't really, like, need us. And then we have Rom's replacement, you know, so he's leaving. Oh, and this is a great story. So last week, Rom is you know, trying to decide. Now, don't you think he might have decided before? I mean, he knew. He was pretty close to this. What he was working for, you know, hanging out for the last minute. So we're waiting outside his office, and he walks out. And his, his people have already called and said, yes, he's taking it. He comes out and he says, I'm going to lunch with my wife. And you know we'll have a we'll have a story later. I said, oh, that goes right because we the story we had heard was his wife didn't want to go. She loved, loved it in Chicago, and it's a awful job. I need to be working all the time. And he said, you know what? I'm the luckiest guy in the world. My parents are alive, and they get to see that I have a choice of being a congressman or the chief of staff. So I called his mother. I thought, what the heck? <laughs> I like to call people's mothers. And you know what? She was the sweetest thing. She was hilarious. She was, oh, honey, I can't talk to you. I don't even have my eyebrows on right now. <laughs> she said, Rob would just kill me. But I like you. You're nice or something. Yeah, she would do. But uh, anyway, Alderman Tani is um, considered he wants.